Dobar večer, dame i gospodo, i dobrodošli na moj kanal. This is going to be a disappointingly easy video and very simple and I have received a new laptop very recently and I am now installing Steam so I just wanted to share with you how to install Steam on Debian. Um, usually you can pull out with uh, using the Flatpak version, that one is community maintained and probably the easiest one to install. Uh, if you don't want a community maintained version of uh, the um, Steam, you might go with Snap version that is maintained by Canonical, although I have had some issues with that one. Some games just didn't work, so I wouldn't really recommend it. And there is also uh, the official uh, Steam version, uh, you know, from um, Valve and also packaged uh, within the Debian repository. So one of the things that you need to do in order to install a native Steam package on Debian is to add a 32-bit architecture on the um, Debian, right? So as you can already see on the screen, this is the command that you need to type. Enter your sudo password and that's about it. And then go with apt uh, update. Okay, we did sudo and it's with the U. Okay, let's maximize this for better visibility. One other thing that you need to have enabled on your Debian is contrib. So let's go ahead with Wim at its uh, apt sources list. And here you can see that I have already put the word contrib in here. Uh, make sure that you have it, otherwise you will not get um, Steam, correct? So let's go with sudo apt install steam installer. There we go. It is going to pull a lot of dependencies. Just press yes. Uh, you will need all of them if you want the entire Steam to work properly out of the box. If you are on NVIDIA, then go ahead and check out my NVIDIA drivers installation procedure. I have a whole separate video just for that. You will need it. If you're on AMD or Intel graphics card, then you don't have to do anything else. Uh, your drivers will be automatically installed, your MESA. Uh, libraries will be automatically installed um, together with the dependencies of the Steam. Um, well, your kernel is what it is. If you are on the latest version of um, a Radeon card, uh, meaning RDNA 4, you might want to fetch the latest version of Linux kernel uh, for Debian from 3C backports. Uh, this is also a separate video just on that topic, but generally um, you might want to do that, right? Simply to get the latest drivers from AMD. Steam installer, press install here. This is just the first run. Uh, it's going to do its thing. It's going to pull uh, from the Valve's repository everything that it needs. Nothing too fancy, right? Uh, so all it comes down to when you have installed Debian, install uh, Contrib your repository. Just just put it in your config file for apt. Uh, uh, enable the 32-bit libraries. Um, install update. <laughs> I mean, a do the apt update. Uh, install Steam installer. Run Steam installer for the first time. And that's going to be it. You're then going to log in into Steam and you can start playing video games. Um, the reason why this format looks slightly different is because this is a fresh install on my new laptop. And I'm not actually using my main computer for recording this video. I'm just uh, actually recording this uh, on the laptop itself. I, I only plugged in my, um, uh, my microphone that I usually use uh on to the new laptop just to test how the laptop works right so right now i'm recording the screen by using the intel graphics card capabilities of screen recording encoding stuff like that um so it is what it is i'm just talking with myself until steam finishes the uh, first run setup so you can see that it actually does run so yeah there, there we go uh, this is the moment when you're going to use your authenticator from Steam mobile application to log in 
and you're done with that if you have enjoyed this video give it a like and subscribe maybe send me some money over uh, coffee i love receiving such kind of support if not and then enjoy uh, the next video that you're going to see from me thank you very much and see you next time